In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the Star Wars API. This is what the final result will look like once you have everything set up. In this tutorial, I'll be using Postman to easily make API calls. In this specific example, I'll be making a Star Wars API call to get all of the people in the Star Wars universe. Once everything is set up and I hit send to hit the endpoint, you can now see I get back a list of all of the people in the Star Wars universe. So here you can see a couple characters like Luke Skywalker, R2-D2, and so on. So to get started, download Postman, which is a free application to allow us to easily make API calls. Then we can switch back to the browser and go to the link that you see here, which will lead us to the documentation for the Star Wars API. If we scroll down a little bit and go to the resources section and click on people, this is the exact API call I showed you earlier in my example. So to be able to make this API call and any other call in the Star Wars API documentation, all we need to do is copy this URL here. Once we've copied it, just open up Postman and just paste it inside of your request and make sure it says get here and just hit send, just like I showed you in the example. And once you've completed all those steps, you should now see the results for that specific API call. If we dig a little bit deeper into the results that we get back, we can see all the information about Luke Skywalker, such as his height, his mass, his hair color, and so on. If we go back to documentation and we scroll down a little bit, we can see that the attributes are listed here and they explain exactly what they mean. If we scroll back up in the documentation a little bit more, we can actually see that the exact API call that we made specifically gets all the people resources. So we'll return a list of all the people in the Star Wars universe. However, if you want to get just a specific character's attributes, you can also do that as well if you look right here. The only difference that we need to make is to add the ID to the URL. So for example, for Luke Skywalker, if we look back at the results in Postman and we scroll down a little bit to URL, we can see that there's like a number one here. And so that would be the ID for Luke Skywalker. So if we make another get request, which I have set up right here, all we need to do is just add the one at the very end of the URL and hit send. And as you can see, now we're only getting back the information for Luke Skywalker. Another useful attribute is like the film's attribute, which lets us know which film that the character was in. As we can see here, Luke Skywalker is included in like four different films. If we do command click and follow the link, and I already have it set up here, and then we just hit send, we can get more information about the specific movie that Luke Skywalker was in. In this case, its title is like A New Hope. If we go back to documentation and go back to the resources tab, we can get more information about the films that they offer for this API. And the structure of this film API is exactly like the people's API call that we just made. We can see that we can hit an endpoint that will get all the films, or we can specify an ID just to get the information for that specific film. So I'll just copy the URL here, and then go back to Postman, and already have it set up. But once we hit send, we will now get back the results for all of the movies that are involved in the Star Wars universe. If we go back to documentation and scroll down a little bit, we can see the attributes. They get exactly what each of them mean. And just like the people's API call, if we look at the URL attribute, we can see that's like the hypermedia URL of this resource. So if we switch back to Postman and we scroll down, we can see that the URL ends in one, which means that its ID for this film is also one. So if we want to just get information about this specific movie, we can just do the same thing like we did previously and just add one to the end of the API URL and hit send. And once we do, we get the results back for just this specific film. And the last API call I want to show relates to the planet's information from the Star Wars universe. If we go back to documentation and just go to the resources tab and click on planets, we can read more about what this API will return to us. Just like the two other API calls, it follows the exact same structure where we can get all the planets or we can get a specific planet. So I would just copy this URL right here, which will give us all the information for the planet that has an ID of one. And once I have it copied, I'll just go back to Postman and just paste the URL and hit send. Now I can see all the results for this specific planet, such as like the diameter, climate, gravity, surface water, and so on. And that is the end of the Star Wars API tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.